Hello and good evening to you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in any part of the world. My name is Samuel Anepad and I'm welcoming you to our AutoCAD tutorial. Please, in this uh, video, we'll be looking at how to display our draw and modify tools on the left and right side of our AutoCAD window, how to actually display our draw and modify tools on the left and right side of our AutoCAD window. So right now, let me share my AutoCAD window. Okay. This was uh, what we did in our last lesson. And I told you that I will actually show you how you can open your drawing, how you can access your drawing. So let me open a new drawing. I'm going to click on this plus sign to open a new drawing. Then let me close this one. This was one of last week. I'm going to click close it from here. Okay. So now, if I want to open that drawing, the one we did last time, how do I open it? So I can come here to file and click on where I get to file. I'll click on open. Already, it's already there. My listing is on a desktop and it's on the folder I created. But let me assume that something else was there. As we were on document folder, what do I do? First of all, I will go to the desktop folder. If it was a document, this, I have document currently displayed now. I've changed the document. If document was what I, I had here, how do I access my folder, which was saved on desktop? I'll come over here to desktop. Then what was the name of my folder? I will look for that folder, AutoCAD tutorial, which is the second folder here. So I, I'm going to click on it to open it. Now, what do we have? How to draw lines. I select it and I click on open. And now it has actually opened that document once again. So this is how you actually assess your document that you've saved before. So for today, I told you I was going to show you how you can actually display your draw tools on the left hand side and your modified tools on the right hand side. So over here, if you look at the ribbon, this side has been categorized as draw. These are all draw tools. While these ones we have here are modified tools. We'll be making use of the draw tools and modify tools a lot. And for a beginner, it's usually advisable for a beginner to display the draw tools on the left and the modify tools on the right hand side. So how are we going to do that? First and foremost, what, what you do is that you display your menu bar, which has already been displayed by coming over here. It has already been displayed. This is where you will see show menu bar. Right now, since it, it has already displayed, that's why we have hide menu bar. So you display your menu bar. So after display your menu bar, what do you do? You go to tools, you click on tools. Then you, you look for two bar, one, two, three. That's the third command, two bar. Then you move over here. You have Express, you have Plan 3D. I'm using Plan 3D software. That is why I have Plan 3D here. For those of you, who are making use of AutoCAD, definitely you make use of AutoCAD. What you're going to see here is AutoCAD. So you over, over AutoCAD. First of all, when you come here, over, over to bar, then you see Express. You come to Express, then move to AutoCAD, which you are going to have, you're not plan 3D. Over, over AutoCAD, then you move towards the right-hand side. Then look for draw. This is draw command. When you get to draw, you click on draw. On clicking, it will display all the draw tools on your left hand side of your window. So 
after displaying all the tools on your left hand side of your window now we want to display the modified tools still the same process we go back to tools on the menu bar click on tools then go to toolbar then move over this is going to be autocad not plan 3d then you go down to modify you click off modify and now our modified tools are displayed over here look at our, our modified tools being displayed over here so now um the ribbon is occupying a large part of our screen i want to take out the ribbon i want to take it away so now i'll have a large area for my drawing how do i do that you come here where you have future apps after future apps what do you have you have an arrow you come to this one the one on the right hand side you click on that arrow then you click on minimize to taps when you click on minimize to tap it takes away the ribbon the ribbon is no longer there so you have a larger space for you to carry out your drawing so how about if you want to get back your ribbon what do you do you come to the right hand the arrow now when i go there it says show full ribbon i click it brings back my ribbon if i want to take it away i come here minimize the tap it takes it away now even if i want my ribbon to be displayed partially i can just click on home when I click on home, it will display my ribbon partially so I can get what I want, anything I want. When I move the cursor away, in one or two seconds, the ribbon will disappear. So the same thing now, if I want the insert ribbon, I'll just click on insert. The ribbon will appear and I will look for, click on what I, I want. If I move the cursor away, the ribbon is going to disappear after about two seconds. So this and actually enable, enable us to get a large drawing area so with this uh, we've actually come to our tutorial for today i hope you actually had a good time and you understand your questions are welcome your comments are welcome your questions are actually welcome in the comment section if you have any reason you want to contact me you can connect with me you can chat me on whatsapp on plus two three four eight zero three eight two nine five one eight five please i would like you to subscribe to our channel and like our videos and drop your comments in the comment section thank you very much and bye for now